What's up guys, Dorito11 here bringing you episode 5 of my Feed the Beast Machine series and today we're going to be taking a look at the Blueprint Library. Um, so this really isn't a machine, um, but it is part of BuildCraft so I figured why not show it to us anyway. Um, and unfortunately, um, if you watch my first episode, the builder um, does not currently work in Feed the Beast Ultimate that I am playing on. Um, so I'm not going to be showing the builder, which kind of defeats the purpose of the blueprint library and um, architect table and stuff like that but we're gonna do it anyway um, just to show you because this is a really cool device here um, so what this does is you take your blueprint that you already printed off from your architect table um, and you lay down your blueprint or library anywhere you want obviously um, and yours is gonna say null if this is the first time you're using it um, it's gonna say null up here um, we will be able to delete that eventually. So what you do is you take your blueprint. Um, this one's just named Blueprint Seven. You can rename them, but um, and you put it in here in this slot. And it'll fill it up. Your blueprint will come out here, and it should be on one of these pages here. Yep, Blueprint Number Seven is right in there. Um, and if you want to take it out, you just put a blank blueprint in here, and it will come out over on this side. And now the cool thing about this is um, it's in between worlds. So now you see in here it's Blueprint 7. Um, number 7 is in this Blueprint library. So now if I quit to my title page here, um, I go to this world. And if I lay down a Blueprint library, um, my number 7 Blueprint should be right in there. So what we're going to do is grab a blank Blueprint here. We're going to print it off. Um, and this, obviously I can't build this um, because, um, well, the builder doesn't work. So, But as you see, this is transferred over um, between worlds, and that's it. So um, that's the purpose of a blueprint library is to store all of your blueprints, and you are able to transfer them across worlds. Um, which is, I think, one of the coolest features about this Blueprint library because I don't know of any other devices currently at the time that you can transfer between worlds, um, but it saves it as an entire interface, allowing you to access your Blueprints in any worlds you want. So that is a really cool feature about this device here. So um, that's all I got for you guys today on this episode. Um, if you enjoyed watching this, um, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, and I will see you next time.